Hello students, I'm Rinal and uh, this session on strategy for IT advance is based on my experience of grooming right-minded students for the last eight years or so. I'm very sure that you have worked very hard in this period and you have cleared the first hurdle it means that you are in the right shape of mind to clear the second hurdle also. So you can take this session as uh, icing on the cake where the cake has already been baked. First of all, let us talk about few of the drastic changes that were observed in IIT Advanced 2015. In 2015, the total marks was 504. Contrary to the marks 360 in 2013 and 2014, here I would like to add that the system of IT Advanced was introduced in 2013 only. So this is a relatively new concept. Coming to the other point is that there was a heavy emphasis on negative marking. That is, for the integer type question, no negative marks. If you talk about one or more correct option, in that case, if you answer it correctly, there will be four marks. And if if you answer it wrongly, you will be given minus 2 marks, that is 50% reduction. Similar was the concept related to paragraph questions. If you answer a question correctly, you will be given 4 marks and if you answer it incorrectly, you will be given minus 2 marks. When you talk about the match the column question, for a correct answer you get 2 and for a wrong answer, minus 1 marks will be deducted. However, if you do not attempt any question, there is absolutely no deduction that is possible. So what we have seen is that the level of deduction in marks is like 50% for wrong answers. Coming to the structure of the question paper. So friends, as you know that in advance there will be two papers. Both of the papers will be of 20 questions each. So if you talk about the first paper, in the first paper there are 8 integer type questions that comprise the section 1. Here, the overall weightage is uh, 32 marks. When you talk about section 2, that is one or more option correct, here the total weightage in terms of marks is 40 marks. And coming to the third section, that is match the column types. Here, the weightage is, you know, in terms of we have already 40, 32, that makes it 72. And so the section third will have a weightage of 16 marks. So this was all about paper one. When you talk about paper two, again there will be 20 questions. Here also you will have eight integer type questions. In this case, as contrary to paper one, there will be eight questions that will be based on one or more option correct. And there will be two paragraph questions in section three, the weightage of which will be 16 marks. So for section 1 there is 32 marks, for section 2 there is 32 marks and for section 3 there is 16 marks. So this was all about what exactly is the structure of the paper like and what exactly was the emphasis of the paper. Now I would like to add another important point over here that IIT always has been, IIT entrance examination always has been test of nerves. So please don't get hazard if you see something drastic in the question paper. They can test you just as they tested last year. So you may expect something drastic, whether it is in terms of composition of the paper or in terms of weightage. Now, let us discuss about the section that you are overly confident about. That is your physics section overall. So friends, uh, you know, the physics section has been divided into a number of parts. So let us first start with general physics. Every year, if you see the last three years, every year there is a question from computation of error, dimensional analysis, the least count and pitch of screw gauge and vernier caliper is very, very important. So computation of Young's modulus by Searle's method, speed of sound using resonance column method and uh, specific resistance of a material while using meter bridge and post office box. You know, these three things have been, you know, asked either this year or the other year. So it makes it imperative that you focus on this general physics, this section in general physics. 
Now, if you talk about the very famous part that is the mechanics, in mechanics, relative velocity has always been asked. Motion in a vertical circle was asked in 2014. There was a question in 2015 that was based on combined effect of collision and projectile. The concept of static and dynamic friction has been taken care of in all these years. You have to be very, very careful about conservation of linear momentum and energy. Here itself, I would like to add that the basic concept of F equals minus du upon dx has been asked both in 2015 and 2013, which makes it very, very important. Every year questions have been asked from rigid body dynamics. Conservation of angular momentum is a very hot area. Application of parallel and perpendicular axis theorem so as to compute the moment of inertia of a given configuration is very important. There was a question based on tau is equal to i into alpha. And there was also a question which was similarly based on computation of angular velocity which was given by the integral of torque into dt divided by the entire moment inertia of the configuration. Rolling without slipping, this was asked in 2015 and it's a very very important section. Now coming to gravitation, in gravitation variation of acceleration due to gravity, computation of escape velocity is very important, linear and angular SHM with their focus in correlation to energy of an oscillator is equally important. Then when you talk about properties of matter, Young's modulus, Hooke's law, questions have always been asked from terminal velocity, Stokes law, Bernoulli's theorem, equation of continuity, speed of a flux with coherence to Torricelli's theorem was also asked. Now let's talk about wave. When you talk about wave, superposition of wave, resonance, beats, speed of sound in gases and particularly the section on Doppler's effect has been elusive. So kindly take care of that. Now let's talk about a very hot section that is thermal physics. Here you have to be clear about black body radiation. Now when you talk about black body radiation, I am clearly talking about Kirchhoff's law, computation of thermal resistance, wind's displacement law, Stevens law, Newton's laws of cooling, right? The specific heat capacity of gases and work done in isothermal and adiabatic process are equally important. Now coming to a section that is, you know, getting less weightage this day, these days, but it is very, very conceptual. So we are talking about electrodynamics. So if you see the last three year papers, computation of net flux that is based on application of Gauss's law is very, very important. Every year a question has been asked from parallel plate capacitor. You have to calculate the effective capacitance in case of a parallel plate capacitor with dielectric. Okay, the net capacitance with reference to different configurations can also be asked. You can be asked to calculate or compute the net electric field in a given charge configuration. Computation of net resistance, application of ACL, KVL, Computation of drift velocity, computation of net magnetic field force on a moving charge and uh, on a current carrying wire in a given magnetic field. So when I am talking about a given magnetic field, obviously I am talking about the very form magnetic field. Conversion of galvanometer into ammeter and voltmeter is equally important. Effect of uniform magnetic field on a current loop, self and mutual inductance the RC, LC and LR circuit with reference to steady state is very very important. Now if you talk about the section of optics, there is one question that I can always guarantee and that question is from Young's double slit experiment. Interference with reference to Young's double slit experiment. Combination of mirror and thin lenses is equally important than refraction from a spherical surface, the general formula has been optimized in a number of configurations to give you problems every year. So you can anticipate one question from this area for sure. Then total internal reflection and critical angle is equally important. When we talk about prism, we have to be clear. When we talk about prism, we have to be clear about the minimum deviation criteria. That is very, very important. Now coming to a section that is finding more and more relevant in the current scenario and that section is the section on modern physics. 
So every year I have noticed that there are questions based on activity after a given time. Q value in case of fusion and fission reaction is equally important. B Goy's hypothesis is very very important and when you talk about photoelectric effect in that case the kinetic energy of the major photoelectron whether it is in terms of maximum kinetic energy or stopping potential or things like that is very very important and there are a number of curves such as one of the curves is like variation of intensity with stops you know stopping potential and then numerous curves related to intensity are equally important with different variation indexes so friends this is what I wanted to convey. These are important sections and I'm sure that you have prepared these sections properly in case if you have missed any of this section the probability of which is very very minimal. So please go through these sections. Now coming to the strategy just before taking your examination. What should be your frame of mind to take the test? One thing you have to be very clear that you have worked very hard and you deserve an entry Right, you deserve a good rank for an entry into one of the most prestigious institutes, not only in India but across the globe. So I'm not hitting the stuff. The only thing that you need to understand is be at peace. Right, you have already worked very very hard. So one thing that I always ask my students is that there is, you know, you all you see the point is you need to believe that you have already worked very hard. Right. So self confidence is very important. Then you have to be clear about that you should not engage in any last moment studies or brush ups. So one day before the examination, that is on 21st, you should not engage in any form of studies. Chill, listen to good music, have a great sleep and ensure that you are at peace of mind so that when you go to the examination hall, if you see a question that you are not able to answer, you should be in a frame that I should leave the question right, this question right now and proceed, right? Rather than engaging in a particular specific question. Time management is the key, my dear students. You already know the importance of the time management. Please be clear about what exactly is the time that you want to devote on a particular question. If you want to talk about the strategy related to that, in that case, what you need to understand is, please, don't waste a lot of time on a single question. If you feel that you are not able to solve because, as I told you, IT is a test of nerves. It will test you with, related, with relation to time management as well. In that case, if you feel like you are giving a lot of time to a particular question, you have already solved a part of that question. In that case, leave that question and go ahead. If you feel on study that you are not very clear about that question, leave that question at that stage and move forward. Right? So you have to ensure that you solve a decent number of questions in every section. What I mean is you have to solve a decent number of questions in physics, in chemistry and in maths as well. Right? So please ensure that don't waste all your time in emphasizing total outcomes of a particular section such as solving the entire section on physics. That is not going to help you. Okay, so you have to be very very clear about all these three sections. Right? And Different students have different approaches, right? So you feel like chemistry is your, for example, let's say chemistry is your strongest paper. In that case, start from chemistry. If you feel like physics is your strongest paper, start from physics part. That will help you in gaining a lot of confidence. So with all this strategy in place, I wish you all the best and I'm very sure that you're going to come out with flying colors and make all your teachers, family and everyone around proud. God bless all of you. Thank you.